what is good everybody as you guys can see your favorite faceless face is experimenting today as you guys can tell I got a little setup as you guys can see this is the camera what you guys are gonna be seeing is me my screen recording of the reaction as you guys can see I'm on my phone for the reaction I'm just trying to experiment okay so we're gonna see this today we're gonna be reacting to Jimmy High Rollers I waited 133 days for this I'm gonna assume it's probably the NBA season if it's a rivalry or maybe just this season in general, I don't know. All I know is, we're going to have a pretty good season. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, the, so far, the season has been really, really good. What I've seen so far, mostly because I'm a Steph Curry fan. You guys know I've been seeing Steph Curry go crazy. The Kings, the Rockets, and then the Pels. Now the Kings, potentially. Then you have the James Harden trade that just went down recently. Then you have the Lakers just trying to duke it out for wins. You have the Grizzlies struggling 0-4. Um, Victor Webb and Yama just going crazy half the time. We'll also have the time being... You know, but yeah, the season's going to be pretty good. Um, yeah, let's get into this video. Let's see. Whenever a new NBA season starts, do you ever think to yourself, what was I doing without basketball on every day? I do. LeBron is still a freak of <laughs> oh, nature. Yeah, Steph is still the best shooter in the world. That, that shot was crazy. This side hobby, Jokic continues to make the NBA look like a developmental league, and Victor yeah. Wembanyama is as good as advertised. The NBA is back, Not yet. and I it's like, better than ever. Oh, that thing they got him to find. All right, let's get to the sponsor, I guess. Is the sponsor, yep. Yeah. Today's video is here to get you in on the high rollers and bonus bets in simply placing a fucking get a no sweat sand limits of your season high roller bet just five dollars on instantly that's promo code jimmy high roller only oh, at uh, DraftKings sportsbook you know what was this gonna be all right let's go with one week of nba games in the books would it be too early for me to jump oh, to some wildly God. bold conclusions on a season that just started absolutely <laughs> is that gonna stop me from making some wildly bold conclusions on a season that just started no of course not so here is everything that happened in week one of the nba in about 10 minutes Breaking news, oh. LeBron James is still really good at basketball. The Lakers look mediocre, but LeBron in his 40th season at the ripe age of 62 is still chugging along, averaging 22, nine and seven a game on 62% shooting while playing the least amount of minutes per game and having the lowest. Really take that in though. Like LeBron was playing the league before I was even born. Okay, I was born 04. So he was already finished his first year and um, Right, he was a few months away, like about like a month away from preseason. All right, the fact he's still playing, like a lot of childhood shows die out because we get older. LeBron is the only one really take that in. LeBron's the only childhood show that's still going and is still catered towards us and the young generation. Really think about it. Like you can also argue like Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, a little bit of Russell Westbrook, but like not that many players could do that. Like. Obviously, basketball is for everybody. Guys, girls, kids, men, women. I don't matter, right? You uh, Obviously, the they, thems, too. I don't want to discriminate. Obviously, don't matter the race or anything like that. But, like, LeBron has been around for so long. But like, it's going to feel weird one day just seeing LeBron no longer in the league, right? Like, everybody's just counting down the days, bro. The league is about to... I don't know what the league's going to look like. But all I know is we're going to be on the verge of no longer seeing the players that we all know and love. The Currys, the LeBrons, the KDs. But I'm not, I'm not disappointed. I'm still going to watch basketball. Victor Webinyama is going to be great. Jason Tatum is nice. All right. Um, what's this? Victor, Jason Tatum, Luka, Giannis, Embiid for a little bit. I guess Jokic, right? Like, we're going to have a lot of great players come. Anthony Edwards, all right? Like, I feel like now with the NBA being a lot more diverse and, like, the world starting to become, like, really good at basketball, like, everybody's in on it now, right? That's pretty crazy to think usage of his entire career in fact the highest single game game score from a player in their 21st season in nba history is 17.2 by dirk nowitzki in 2019 LeBron's until gonna lebron it. james surpassed that mark which 25. he has already done three times this season unfortunately him and ad are being anchored down by teammates who couldn't make a shot even if you paid him 50 million dollars unless Bro, this the is Miami some got sort of finessed, mandela effect but gave vincent, vincent, got finessed gave the vincent just eviscerated the celtics in last year's playoffs Bro, what happened this man lebron was saw curry take down the kings it was like i could do that too but his team was like nah we're not doing this obviously darvin Yo, 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 the Lake. I honestly thought the Lakers were honestly going to do something good this season. This was going to be like 2020, but actually gone right. But with a better team as well, right? 
I don't even know if it's going to happen, y'all. I, again, it's early in the season, right? So eventually things will pick up. Obviously, we saw what happened last year with the team starting up pretty weak. And once they made it to the trade deadline, made the trades, they pushed, they made it to the play-in, made it to the playoffs, then made it to the conference finals. Unfortunately, lost in uh, four games. But, yeah, Kings, I do expect the Kings to be back. All right, I feel like nothing's really going to change, right? Maybe De'Aaron Fox. I don't know. The Warriors, I don't think the Warriors are going to go that far. I know a lot of people hyping up Chris Paul, like he, like he's about to help the Warriors and all that. But one, where's the big man? Two, they foul a lot. I don't know. Three, Chris Paul has not shown us times where he is consistently showing up when it matters the most. Like, he'll have games, yes. But for the most part, he's not showing up. Like, when was the last time Chris Paul, when he needed to win, won at all? That was like what game, like whatever the game that he had against the Clippers. I think it was in L.A. He dropped like a forty piece or something like that, and he uh, they got to, they went to the finals. That was the last time. And then like twenty eighteen with the Rockets, they took down the the um, the Utah Jazz. That was really it. Oh, and also um, the twenty twenty two when uh, they were closing out the, the Pelicans, but like that was the first round. Dog. Like you should have been swept that team. How did you lose to a team that didn't have Zion Williamson and you won sixty four games and you have the MVP candidate? Pretty much. I don't know, because Devin Booker was like winning games. Like, yo, why isn't he winning MVP? I mean, he's on a winning team. He's averaging a lot. He's doing really well. He's, right? So, like, how? Right? So, I don't really, I'm not too high. Like, I'm high on Steph Curry. Steph Curry's going to do it all, all right? All I know is that he better not lose in five or four games. I'm going to be upset, because ever since he's been in the playoffs, and he's been in the playoffs, every time he's been in the playoffs, he has lost it six games or less. Six games? Six games or seven games, okay? Not less. He's never got swept. Never got gentlemen swept, all right? And that's the only thing that LeBron fans have to hear about Curry then, if anything, like when it comes to playoff Curry and playoff LeBron, like, oh, LeBron got swept before, but Curry didn't. You know what I mean, right? Like, LeBron got swept by the Warriors themselves, gentlemen swept by the Warriors, the Spurs, the Mavericks. Um, You could even, call, like, the Boston Celtics in a way, like, okay, I was thinking to stop ranting about LeBron and shit. In other news, this season the NBA rolled out a new set of load what management happened to Bradley rules and violations Chris, um, in hopes that Devin it would deter teams from resting lot. star players. But what, what's going on? It has not. James Harden yeah. still holds the crown as the NBA's biggest diva as he continued to play mind games with the 76ers until they traded him to the Clippers for pennies on the dollar. Sixer fans, how y'all feeling? Third time Clipper he has done too. this in I'm four not, seasons. I'm not too high on the Clippers regardless. Proving once again that like, if you're three talented of your four enough, stars are you can get away with whatever you want. How are you going to tell me that this is a really winning cool team? Since I they lost all their Harden wings way too. too early in fantasy this year. Why I chose to do this? Because I'm an idiot. But opposite of drama and dysfunction is Mr. Reliable Nikola Jokic. Who is firmly, without a shadow of a he doubt, better win. the I think best he might player win in the world. This year, this year is my like that. Yeah, he deserves it this time. He should have won last year, but like this is the honest. But right now, there's no debate here. Jokic is the best player on the face of the planet. That's for the four Bucks. Games, the man a lot of people are on the Bucks. I don't. I'm not gonna lie. Game is cool. When when he needs to needs to show me in the playoffs, he plays a full series. Giannis, he can have those moments, but games we haven't seen much. It's been one time it's fine. He's been losing his staff, but apparently he's better than him. One point. You guys claim so that. Good? I was never How on that bandwagon. So smart? Why is he making every shot? He's moving at half speed. The Nuggets are legit. They're winning games by an average of nearly 15 points right now. Good luck to the rest of the league. Meanwhile, scoring okay. the ball continues to be about as easy as it's ever been. Because in just the first week of the season, there have already been six 40-point games. It also yeah. took all but four days for someone to drop a 50 piece. And he Luka still nearly lost. had a 50 piece, but instead oh, yeah. settled for 49, 10, and 7, which brings and his one season average winner. to 40 points, 12 rebounds, and 10 assists per game. This is almost like Just the totally his, normal and not completely outrageous. He had it like one week when he had that 60 Lillard 20 made quite 10 the first game. impression in his first game with the Bucks, yeah. scoring 39 points, going game time on the 76ers in the fourth, and already breaking franchise records. And then followed it up with this dud <laughs> in the very next game. Don't you see what I mean? Like I'm telling y'all, I'm I'm not I'm not saying they're gonna be a bad team. That's the good that team's good, but like we all know, Dame has not really had a significant impact in the playoffs. It's really just the 2019 shot and the Houston Rockets shot. I don't think it was 2013. I think it was 2013. I don't know. All right, we don't have a, and then he had like like what a few games in like 2021. Like he didn't really have anything of significance. All right, 2019 second round, nobody really talks about it like that. You don't talk about 
and even if we discredit the, the Warriors era, like the Cadian Warriors era, right? We can discard that. He still lost to the Pelicans in 2018. He didn't even really get out to match up to the Warriors. He only had something in the KD era one time. If you want to argue 2019, fine, but like KD was not there. And even then, they should have at least made it a competition. Why are you getting swept when you're up 15 in games 2 to 4? And then you're telling me, oh, this is a contending team, buddy. I would probably bet on the Celtics because at least with them, they have at least a bunch of weapons. All right, Dame don't really got is really Dame and Giannis. And if Giannis is not stepping up and Dame's not stepping up, who are we betting on? Chris Middleton? He ain't the same. What are you talking about? No, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I might I might this might end up backfiring me like, oh, you're wrong. Okay, I'll admit, I'll come and apologize. I don't really believe too much in us in the Bucks go like they might be high on the rankings when it comes to the playoffs, but like in the playoff bracket, right? I don't see them going too I see I has to be conference finals, bare minimum. All right, when everyone's healthy, bare minimum conference finals. You got a new coach, you got a star player to join Day, uh, Giannis. Didn't have to give up Chris Middleton. Brooke Lopez is there. I think Bobby Borges is there. All right, I'm not too sure about the rest of the team, but I'm going to assume they're at least decent enough to contribute and help win basketball games. You should be good. All right, but the Celtics get Tatum, maybe Jalen Brown, Chris Stops, Drew Holiday. He better spin back. Not only get to play Dame again, if you make it to the conference finals and you match up with them. But now you get to get back at the team that took you took you away from the Bucks that helped that you helped win a championship with. All right, this is your chance. So there's that team. Sixes, eh, not too much. Cavs. Evan Mobley's not really having a good start. I don't know what it is with him. I thought he was gonna have a big big year. Like he's probably one of the very few that can possibly contend for slowing down Wemby and maybe even Chet Holmgren. But Chet Holmgren is really the only one who can actually do something. Which is going to be an interesting matchup. Three Bucks fans. I lived with this for a decade. You'll be fine. Staying in the East, the Celtics still have some wrinkles to iron out, Atlanta's but their offseason moves too. seem to I be forgot. paying off. As Chris Stapps Porzingis became the first Celtic center to score 30 points in a regular season game since Kelly Olenek did it nearly a decade ago in 2014. A fact that is equally as crazy as it is depressing. Ben Simmons is back on the court and doing stuff like this which is truly remarkable because how he can sling passes with pinpoint accuracy from he's 60 good. It's just feet that out he's just but can't seem to knock down a back. simple jump shot is like, we're still waiting. You'd think the two abilities would be correlated in some like, way, but in team, the case of Ben Simmons, he needs to be able they to are scores. not. Now, one of the more exciting developments so far this season has been this year's rookie class, which so far mm -hmm. is showing signs of being pretty good with a few outliers. Wimbenyama looks amazing, as expected, mm -hmm. And quite frankly, even if he didn't look amazing, I wouldn't Bro, be Brandon surprised Miller, if the rookie of the, the year trophy like, already had his name etched into it. And Brandon was like Miller everybody's is already Anthony a difference Edwards maker for the Hornets. And the 12th overall pick, Derek Lively, will go on two-minute spurts of playing like Wasn't a young, cracked-out Blake Griffin. I think he was Griffin. traded from the Magic. Meanwhile, I Scoot think Henderson I is, uh... Yeah. Um... He's doing just Everybody fine. said he... I'm sure with some more reps... They He'll be well on his way to hitting I mean, that all NBA level potential. Just remember, it it's early in the season. If your team is bad, just tell I mean, everyone to give it some time. Some players have that moment where, like, the I can separate started. Trey Young. Other players will build, good, have a tell shit start in the first right half season. Along. And now, then here are later the in the season, rankings after right? week one and the change in rankings from the preseason. The Denver oh. Nuggets were on top, and they're still on top. Milwaukee slipped. 76ers climbed up a few spots as Maxi fills the Harden gap. Kings Grizzlies jumped five at 25 spots. Pelicans crazy. jumped seven spots I, thanks I, to Zion honestly, Williamson actually no. playing basketball. Mavericks jumped six spots. Maybe I'm they look better than but, I, mean, I think most people thought they were going to up to this like point. OKC okay, and the Pacers see massive jumps. Knicks plummet. The Heat plummet. But I'm sure they'll find another fringe swingman ready to shoot lights out and bounce your favorite team out of contention in horrific fashion come the playoffs. Playoffs. Pistons fell eight spots because having them at 13 in the preseason was psychotic to begin with. The Grizzlies fall 13 nah, spots. Give it at least maybe a little bit of the season. If not, by next season, they're good. Playing time. Next season, Hornets the Pistons are, are contending for playoffs. Wimby, so this they is have actually to. a typo. They should East be the number one top team. Heavy, but Rockets still are ass, but and my Blazers good. are ass. Like, they have a shot it's making. funny because I thought the situation in Portland couldn't get any worse. And yet, one week into the season, and it's somehow even worse. And finally, here are our criminally early NBA season awards, oh. which I really shouldn't do. But it's my channel, and okay. no one can stop me. Let's see. Just off of first impressions from this season, these are the all-NBA teams so far. First team is Curry, Luka, Tatum, yeah. Durant, and Jokic. Second okay. team is Fox, Maxi, PG, Giannis, and Embiid. And third team is mm. Cam Thomas, Shea, LeBron, Markkanen, and AD. 
and sure, okay. there's one or two outliers here. No. Is this? Let's see. Curry, I can agree with. Luca, I can agree with. Tatum, I haven't heard much about Tatum, but sure, I'll take y'all word for it. Based on what the hype, KD. I'm not gonna lie, he sold that game. He's not good with inbounds in the clutch time. I don't know what it is, but anyways, Jokic for sure. Embiid, unfortunately, I'd say he should have done one position list too. But okay, Maxi, yes, I expect Maxi to have a big year. I was always invested in Maxi from the start, so I'm I'm surprised that y'all taking this time to say, yo, it's his team now or his play share of the team now or whatever. You know what I mean? Fox, sure. Paul George. I think he's had a good game. I mean, he had the Waldo costume, so you know where this is going. Uh, Giannis, sure. Uh, Embiid, oh, I said it. Cam Thomas, yes, surprisingly. Shea, he had one bad game, so I don't know. LeBron, yes. I'd say LeBron be second team. I'm not going to lie to y'all. i probably put LeBron second team before. Maybe I'm underestimating it. Uh, Markinen, I am not too sure. I'm, I'm going to do it later. And Anthony Davis... Outside that first game, I don't know, man. Like, does he deserve it? I don't know. Gonna name any names? But overall, it's interesting. Nah, I, I can see where he's gonna leave. I feel like that. Yeah, I can't pass pretty polarizing, but I can see where he's going. One week into the season, and for the most part, with some fluctuations sorry, here and there, these teams probably aren't too far off from what we'll end up seeing at the end of the season. The most valuable player right now is Nikola Jokic. Now, Rookie okay. of the Year is a tough one, but I'm going to go out on a limb Wimby. and say it's Wimby. The scoring yes. leader is Luka Doncic with a modest mm -hmm. 40 points per game. Now, some fans might think up to this Boy. point most improved player belongs to Cam Thomas, but Check. I'm going to go ahead and give it to Tyrese Maxey. Defensive oh, Player of the Year would go to Alex Caruso, okay. who continues Caruso. to somehow be a defensive anchor for the Bulls, despite being okay. a six foot four inch perimeter player. The best team through week one is easily the Nuggets. The buzz around this team was very quiet all offseason. People were talking about the Suns, the Celtics, and the Bucks, but quietly reloading were the Denver Nuggets, who just have a cohesive, complete basketball team led by the best player in the world. And that was everything that happened in week one of the NBA season That's in about 10 pretty. minutes. Hope you all enjoyed. And as always, until next time. Just like that, that is it for today's video, man. Like like I said, week one's pretty crazy. I'm not going to lie to you. It's probably one of the craziest starts I've ever gotten to witness. You know what I mean? Um... I don't know. Y'all like this setup too? Like, I'm, I have this camera here. I'm in also, a I'm the same room. It's just that different position. Like, I'm always down there. Like, where are the doors? I think some of y'all might recognize this door, this closet. And then obviously, I'm I'm screen recording on my phone. So, I don't know. If y'all like it, let me know in the comments. And if the, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I might re go back to this, but I don't want to. Eventually, I need to elevate, right? Part of my rebrand, I need to elevate and do better all right so yeah uh, if you guys enjoyed this video leave a like subscribe if you knew who do y'all think is winning the championship what do y'all thoughts in week one y'all think this is about to be a great season i don't know it could be i feel like we have a lot of potential it's just that some things do play into it like injuries and all that and this whole you know what i mean um what do you call it the policy thing that still was supposed to work but didn't all right they i don't know but yeah with that being said uh i'm gonna catch y'all later okay I need also practice this. Which one is it? Is it this way or this way? I'll figure it out.